Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Inscription Casey's Mod. This will be part 30 of our Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, sorry to disappoint. I didn't manage to pull that last one out of the gutter. Uh, we are still on, on challenge level 10. Uh, we got so close, though, which we weren't even really trying, to be honest. I think the ant deck... Okay, I think the ant deck is incredibly strong. Incredibly strong. If you can get some worker ants. If you can't... Oh, it's a bit of a ball ache, isn't it? Um, okay, what if we... What do we do? We did this, we did that, we did this. So I took annoying starters. Maybe not what we want. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we do the plus two. Annoying starters was worse than I expected. Um, wow, that's plus 30 challenge points to do it with a single candle. I can see why, though. Um, single candle would be brutal. If you don't get your smoke as well, holy crap, that's that's awful. Because that means all your boss battles suddenly way harder. If you can't get a level two creature out in the first turn, you are on the back foot straight away. Because they will just play out a level two creature like it's nothing. Um... Ooh, okay. I don't... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we take that. We take this. Because the Warren ability we can put on the Ant Queen, and that works pretty well. Okay, I think we can go this way. Straight out of the gate. And we will just slap this on the Skunk. But yeah, Annoying was really bad, actually. Um, probably with the deck that we got, because we ended up having to use those starter creatures quite heavily, if we had a lot more flavorful creatures in our deck, it probably would have been a lot better. Uh, a raven egg. Uh, there's not a lot we can do about that. I guess we throw out a flying ant, right? The raven egg, he doesn't hatch this turn. Ooh, he does hatch the next turn, though. Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Okay, the Wolverine might have been a mistake. Because... Obviously, we can't play him out this early. Uh, we can just do this and win, though, right? Oh, no, not enough. Crap. Because we took two down. We took one damage. Bummer. Actually, if we do this... Right? Boom. And then four damage. Nice. Nice. If we have to do that Raven Egg right from the start, every time in this, in this section, that's going to be tough. Can we have a double? A Raven. Okay. Raven's not a bad card. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, like, I think annoying starters is not the punishment it initially appears to be. However, and it's it's a big however, um, you really need to have some starting creatures that are really good. I think I'm going to put it on the skunk, because I'm going to try and get, try and get a little bit of... A little bit of damage on him, and then he can he can buff himself. It's probably a good good creature to put it on, in fact. Um, but yeah, like if you have a good couple of starting creatures that you can then sacrifice onto a new set, no, because it gives them annoying too. I I guess you just have to kind of try and remove them, don't you? Ooh, I'm not. I don't know if I. I don't know if I rate that. Okay, now remind me, can we sacrifice the Warren as as a sacrifice? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, oh, this is a pickle. Oh, he's got flying block. Okay, perfect. So we can get rid of the Raven Egg. I mean, our flying egg's gonna die to the frozen opossum, which hundred percent definitely sucks. Uh, yeah. What do we do about this? 
because we can't even sacrifice a raven that doesn't get us anywhere like i can't even use him as a sacrifice and take two damage Th this is trouble actually i think this is like we have to hook i don't even know how we would hook what that would look like i, I think we have to i think we have to take the alpha man just straight out of the gate that's bad. That's that's so bad. Uh, right. See, now we want to sacrifice you for this guy because it does exactly the same thing, except now I have slightly more. Tell you what, though, I'm not. Th this ain't it, Chief. The already using our entire inventory is not not good at all. Okay, we're just going to hit all the fires, because I want to upgrade... Okay, perfect. I was going to say, I want to upgrade that skunk. He only needs one damage. One damage is fine. That'll turn into two, that'll turn to three, that'll that'll win us the game. That's, that's what we want. Okay, elks. He's going to throw out the raven egg again. Oh, this time we got raven... Uh, we got rabbits? Interesting. Um... So he can bring out the mud turtle, but he's going to flip it. Okay, I don't know how much I care, really. I think we actually just play out a warren here. Or do we... Okay, do we do this? Okay, bit of a bit of a misplay to play out the warren just to sacrifice it, but... I think we're actually okay with this. Because Skunk gets better. Wild Bull hits that, moves over. Skunk can now kill the Wild Bull. I can just bring out the Mud Turtle. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna brutalize this frozen opossum. Yeah, see Skunk's now a 3-5. This is exactly what I wanted, right? This this is the the build that I want. Where I can just throw out a skunk, it just Dinks off like a little, a little shit lord, like a rabbit or a squir- uh, I don't think they play squirrels, but, you know, a rabbit, uh, a flying ant, if they start bringing those out later. Um, just some, some little thing that we can get rid of, right? And if we can just dink him off and level him up, oh my god, this is not- This ain't it, chief. Uh, I guess we'll take the llama gear, because it's kind of fun. It's a bit spicy. Um, yeah, if we can just kill one little thing, then suddenly it's a it's a two. Oh my god, give everything fecundity. Oh my god, if we can give all insects fecundity, that's some damage. Uh, right. Do we up the snake, the snake, the skunk again? I think we do. It really protects him. It, it makes him a a real contender. Like, it makes him scary. He reduces their damage by one, has a bunch of health, and does two damage. And every time he kills something, gets even stronger. That makes him hard to match up against. So I think that is a that is a bold call. That's a strong, strong card. Uh, obviously, in this battle, what we're going to run into is the strange frog is going to turn into a trap. And we're going to get murdered by a trap so we throw him there i don't really want to sacrifice the skunk but i don't see how i can not uh actually i guess i just put him here right we'll only take one damage raven gives me a pelt and a rabbit replaces it one damage means nothing, because we're about to, like, massively ramp up our damage. We're going to do three, he's going to do one. Like, try try your best, my friend. Okay, and now we can start... Because we got another turn. So now I can start trying to bring in just shit-tier critters. Um, in this case, an ant queen. Not really shit-tier, but... Ooh, what do I put him here? No, I have to put him here. It stalls me another turn. Okay. So, I get the leaping trap. So I'm doing three damage right now. 
Which is plenty. Which is plenty enough. Now, I think I have to bring out... Or do I? Okay, so the Lama Gear does half of all bones. Which at the moment is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's, you do five damage. So actually, if I can get literally another Aqua Squirrel, I'm good. So, let's just leave it. We do this, pushes over to the next phase. Perfecto. He's going to ask us what we want to trade. We have three critters to trade. Or three pelts to trade, so we can get three critters. Uh, ooh. Once again, kind of doesn't matter. Just give me him, give me him, give me him. Oh, you're not going to say how weird my choice was? Okay, and then we play out these two guys. We go boom, boom, boom. We bring out a Lama Gear, which does six damage, turning us into the instant win. Okay, Lama Gear is a pretty good, like, whoop -ah! that big, like, final punch. Uh, but man, if we drew him early. I think the only reason we got the Lama Gear is because we stabilized. And and I think stabilizing's the problem most of the time. You know, if it was just that easy to stabilize, ooh, this would be a piece of cake. Like, we, we do it all the time. We'd never lose if it was just that easy. Boom. Work around. That's what I need. Okay, I think this deck is now... It's not complete, but it's a strong deck. Uh, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this one. So we've got targeted removal. We have something to counteract down negative one. And we have bones just in case. Ooh... Okay, so it's bees for now, but it's not always going to be bees. That's what concerns me. Then again, maybe it is just going to be bee rush. And maybe... Bee rush, maybe... God, so many, so many puns. Maybe this is where we use the mud turtle. We sacrifice out a workaround for a mud turtle. I don't really want to sacrifice a mud turtle. Okay. I think this is where we have to take this. We might even have to use the old knife. Because I'm just thinking if we hold off a turn, we're going to take one, two, three. They're going to put something here which blocks a workaround. But the workaround does one damage, so we're going to be down to two. Maybe we do need to counteract right now. Maybe this is just a loss. We can't use a raven, because a raven will just hit over the top, and that's not what we need. Because um, what he's going to do is he's going to put another B here, regardless of what I do. So either, basically, either I play out an Aqua Squirrel now and use the Worker Ant plus the Aqua Squirrel for a Mud Turtle, which can kill one of these bees, which is good. Uh, or I wait a turn, get a second Aqua Squirrel, use both of those to bring out a Mud Turtle, but it might be too late. I think I have to go for this. Okay, now he's bringing out the Mantis. That pretty much ends the game for us, I think. Because he's going to attack for three. So I attack for two, he attacks for, th he attacks for five, actually. But if I kill something, it doesn't really matter. So now he's going to attack for four, but I can go three. So I do two, he does three. And then maybe next turn I can bring out the Raven. Because now I kill the Mantis. Okay. I think we've stabilized here. Because now I do this. I do two damage. He does two damage. Oh, another B. 
Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe the stinky rush was too much for me. Okay, well, I can do two damage. Okay, if I get rid of him, play out the skunk here. I do two damage, he does two damage. But then I do three damage. Yeah, because I do three, four, he does two. And he comes over here and attacks for one, and then I super... Actually, he doesn't even attack for one, because the skunk is too, too potent. Okay, I, I think we've I think we've well stabilized here. Um, I am gonna just throw out a flying ant right here. Yeah, no, it doesn't do anything, but when we get another ant, it'll be worthwhile. Um, the skunk is now more powerful. Uh, or I can just sacrifice for uh, sacrifice of Warren doesn't do anything. Well, I can clear this lane, so I will be one down, but this whole lane is dead. And that skunk is super powerful, so when I can hit him, like right now, he is done. I hit him for 6-7, he hits me for 2. Yeah, no, we're, we're good. We're, we're good, we good. Uh, okay, and Elk Fawn does nothing for me, except to just sit there. Um, because 7 damage is enough. Whew, we had to use a lot of items on that, but we did get a win. I think we want this creature. I think if we, if we can get it, we really want it. Okay, two of kin, four of blood, five of bone. Well, five of bone ain't happening. Uh, what is it? Two of kin or four of blood. I think four of blood is much more doable. Because kin is just one, two, three. Yeah, no, we have to do... Yeah, no, we're doing, we're doing blood. I think we get a double sacrifice here, which we did. Cool. Easy. What do we got? A flying ant that can be infinitely sacrificed is pretty tempting. I doubt it would be used, but pretty good. Uh, a rattler that has brood parasite. Oh, right. So it's it's the... Uh, the Watsi. The cuckoo. Uh, and a raven that's just kind of bad. <laughs> that that raven is meh. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Um, this is a pretty good ability to have on the raven. Because obviously he's got three health, so it can probably deal that one damage back. But it has no way of capitalizing on that. I think the flying ant, the infinite sacrifice flying ant, might be the way to go. Okay, it's damage. This shouldn't go on the skunk. There is zero purpose to that. I think it might go on the fawn. Um, no, we're not going to sacrifice it, because it, I, I guarantee that would fail. Ooh, what do we want to paint? Ooh, Jesus, what do we want to paint? Okay, we bring out the Ant Queen straight away. And I think we want to. Put him there. Can't bring out the worker ant yet, but we do a damage. He does three to me. But we can bring out this boy. Um, right, so we need to... Well, if I go here, I do two damage. He does two damage. If I go here, he does one. I do none. But I'm kind of in a better spot. Actually, I guess the Elk Fawn can just kill the bee, right? So let's just do this. I'll get that two damage on the board. Because then I can use this Elk Fawn to just wipe out one of these bees. Bonk. And then four damage. She does... Like, nothing. Ah, it's fine. That's fine. Uh, that's a kill plus a B, that's a kill, that's a kill, this is a clear board. And I get a B. 
this is a much more stable position for me to be in. Uh, we'll just throw the B out. Because we just need damage right now, and we've got it. Ooh. Damn, we are in a good position. Um, no, Mud Turtle doesn't help us at all. Yeah. We'll just take this. Bit of overflow. Does the job. Does the job well, actually. Uh, I do hate that we had to take this. Bug? Yeah, fuck it. Ringworm. Yeah, I fucking knew it was going to be a ringworm. I knew that was coming. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, it's going to be a ringworm, innit? Um, okay. I think we want to paint this workaround. I think if he gets better, if he loses some health, uh, sucks, but not the end of the world. Uh, which he did. You know what? Eh. That's, that's like a, a big eh. Um, we don't want this, so we're just going to go straight this way. I get a workaround with one health. Yeah, that's worse. Um, does it matter for the grand scheme of things? No. I want the workaround so I can do damage. That's the real answer here. Oh, God. So that's four damage coming at me. That's enough to kill me unless I just throw a block. Uh, unless I just chomp block, which I might have to, but... I can't stop these, can I? So I could play out the Elk Fawn, actually. That'll do two damage. That kind of counters. The one upside to this build they've got going is it means that these two lanes are stuck. Right, now I've got the Elk back. Uh, I can just chomp block if I want, which I'll probably do. Ooh, actually, this is trouble. Uh, I take it back. I've lost this because that was a silly mistake. Um, he's now going to do five damage to me. Actually, no, he's not. He's going to do three damage to me. I do two to him, he does three to me. Okay, no, actually, that works. I forgot the elk will move. I know it's like his main thing. Um, I'm dead now, probably. Uh, because I can only do one damage, because all these have stinky. So I do one, he does three, and I'm dead. But, look, it was a good fight while well, it lasted. I don't think we could have played that any better. I think they just had our number. I think with our opening draw, we, we were never going to win that. That sucks. I, I need that. I need that double sacrifice, especially with this deck. But maybe it'll be okay. You have to be the one. Uh, items, I think, are non-negotiable here. Squirrel in a bottle has to be. Honestly, I don't hate the double squirrel in a bottle strat. Because that means if we get... If we get uh, the Lamagea out immediately... That ain't bad. Do I want this? Now, it kind of fuses them into one worker ant. Maybe not. Maybe I want to fuse this one. I think I do, actually. Um, one flying ant that can take a hit kind of better. Also, it means it's more likely for me to bring out the flying ant that I want, right? The one with the sigils. Because when there's two flying ants, I kind of only want the one with the sigils. The other one can fuck off. Uh, the worker ants, eh. Both of them are pretty good. Um, they attack whatever's opposite them. Although, in this situation, actually not very good. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I have a ringworm. I think I need to get that Lamagea out. Actually, this is a strap. This is a real strat. You know what? Uh, yeah, you know what? Do we just go full into Lamagea? Because we are currently having... It'll be two damage, which is not great. But it's not bad either. 
I can make it three if I sacrifice again. Actually, wait, no, I don't. Because I have to sacrifice three to actually play it out. So it's four at the moment. And I mean, look, what do I have to do to uh, stop him taking that? Just take my squirrel, bruh. Enjoy. Had to use all my items for this build, but... Man, I can't argue it's not strong, right? Oh, I can't turn him into a five? That doesn't matter. Okay. Lamagea. Or Lamergia. Lam Lamergia. I don't know how you say it. But... <laughs> wow. No, I need the cockroach, I think. Um, yeah, if, if you can get it out, it's a bit of a game winner. Because unless you have a real heavy um, skull deck, like, uh, not skull, bone. If you have a real heavy bone deck where you're just using bones all the time. Oh my god. Uh, this is becoming something useful, which is odd and wrong. Uh, how are we doing on these? We have enough for the knife. Let's go get the knife. This feels pretty good. Um, ooh. I think it's going to be the cockroach. Of course, the Lamagea. This guy's a bit of an investment. I, I need the cockroach on something that I really need to keep coming back. Um, which for this one... I feel like it's the worker ant. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, right? Okay, here's a strat. I can see it coming. We put that on the worker ant, we paint, and hope that we copy the correct sigil. If we can paint that, I think we can get an easy win out of the final boss. Uh. What do we even target here? Okay, we can bring out something good. Uh, and I think that something good is going to be the Mud Turtle. Right there. Because he's going to block the Coyote attack. Ooh, he's not going to... He ain't going to block the next attack, though. It's about to take three. Oh, well. I think this is a hard loss. Oh, wait, we killed a first. That's so annoying. So he, it puts the, like, the wolf behind whatever you're going to kill. Which is a problem. There's definitely a strategy for these battles that I'm just not, not seeing. Oh, wait, we get a pelt, don't we? Shit, we get a freebie. That's real annoying, but... Mm, okay. I oh, could get rid of the pelt. No, we have to gamble on this. We have to gamble on this. Alright. Give me this boy. Come on. If you give him three health and you keep that sigil, I will always paint with you. Uh, it's not what we wanted. It's not what I wanted in my heart, but I can't see myself hate that is bad. Because they're going to throw out the bull moose. Oh, the fucking pronghorn. Uh, actually, pronghorn's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I think the obvious play here... Oh, no, but I can't kill a pronghorn with that. I going to say the obvious play is to play the elk fawn here. Uh, actually, it's still kind of the play. No, it's still the play. Because we do this, we hit him, move across, he moves down. One, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sucks, but... Oh, right, the elk will upgrade. Oh, yeah, no, he's fucking dead. Uh, one damage on the Elk Fawn, that does not matter to me. I just don't block him. So, Pronghorn dead, move to the Mole, I'd get hit for one. 
Uh, I will play out the worker ant to kill that elk fawn. But I do need this. A rabbit pelt. Not as bad as it initially looks, though. Right? Because... Okay. Yeah, if I put down a rabbit pelt here, okay, and then we play out this guy here. He only does one damage to me. No, he does two damage. <laughs> Damn it, I felt so good about that deck. That was a strong deck. It needed to be thinned out. That's what, that's what lost me the game there. Yeah, it needed to be thinned out. We just had too many cards. Too too many useless cards. Ringworm. Uh, rabbit pelt. Off Just off the top of my head. Can I... I wish there was a way to look at the deck you had when you lost. So you could kind of like... Analyze it a bit better. But yeah, no. We had too many expensive cards. Not enough ways to get them. Deck was too thick. The ant deck works best when it's pure. It's just ants. Ants and insects. As soon as you start branching out too much, um, you really struggle. It's not a bad thing to branch out to like a wolf cub or uh, an elk fawn. Both of those are pretty good. Um, but yeah, once you start getting into bloody llama gears and ugh. Nah. Well, we are going to leave this episode here. No, it was a nice quick one. You know, it's been a while since we've had one where we just get in and get in and fucking die in one episode. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.